Hi everyone, hope you are all fine. This is Atik. I welcome all of you to our YouTube channel Engineering Drive. Dear students, let us discuss now what is space complexity. In my previous video, already we have discussed how time complexity of an algorithm can be determined. So, as we know that how time is important for the algorithm for execution, similarly, space is very important. What is space? Problem solving using computer requires memory. Yes, this is very very important point. Memory to hold temporary data or final result while the program is in execution. Which means where that data will be stored when the program is under execution, it is stored in main memory. Okay, so the amount of memory taken by the algorithm is very very important criteria to find out the efficiency of the algorithm. Here, one important I call uh, one important way in which the analysis of algorithm can be done is with the help of space complexity. What is space complexity? The amount of memory required by the algorithm to solve given problem is called space complexity of the algorithm. So, when we when let us say three developers have designed three algorithms for the, which which solves the same problem. Problem is one, but three unique algorithms are there. Algorithm 1, Algorithm 2 and Algorithm 3. Now question is, when let us, I am, I am talking about space complexity here. So Algorithm 1, let us say one example, let me go to this uh, board now to explain one example. Three developers have designed three algorithms. So this is Algorithm 1, Algorithm 2 and Algorithm 3. Algorithm 1 this algorithm the when we I, when I am going to convert this into a program it will take 150 MB algorithm 2 it will take 220 MB whereas algorithm 3 it will take 110 MB now as a manager or as a team leader what I am going to do, I need to take one decision. All these three algorithms are solving the same problem. All these three algorithms are providing the same solution. But what is the difference I observed as I am talking about space complexity? The space taken by the three algorithms are different in sizes. Whereas when, we, when I see these three algorithms, the algorithm A3 which has been designed by developer 3, it is taking less memory, only 110 MB compared to A1 and A2. So what I am going to do in this case, as I am giving preference to space complexity, what space complexity says, the amount of memory taken by the algorithm should be less. So that it can be downloaded, it can be used by multiple users. If the memory size is small, very lot of people will tend to download it. Is it right? So because of this, what I am going to do, I will select this option first. Which option? The algorithm. A3. Why I will select this option because it will take less memory in the computer or in the storage devices. So I will prefer this. So the role of time complexity is uh, how uh, how important the time complexity role is role was there. Similarly, the role of space complexity is also important. Here our goal is the algorithm should take less memory. Okay. Next two point. The space complexity of an algorithm quantifies the amount of space taken by the algorithm to run as the function of the length of the input. Now, let us take one example. Here, let me take the same example which I have taken for time complexity. So, addition of two variables. So, same steps. But here, as uh, we how many times we are doing the additions here? Here also same as it is the same algorithm. Here, we are doing the addition only once. And to hold the input, here we are having two variables. What are those two variables? One is A, another one is B. This is A and this is B. Okay, two memory locations are there. But when I when this algorithm, when this instruction of the algorithm is executed, that is A plus B, where we are transferring the result here, we are transferring the result to another variable C. So, which means, let us say the A value is 10, B value is 20, then this is 10 and this is 20. Then what about C? As we are using the formula, okay, as uh, we are using this formula here, A 
we are using a plus b so what which value will be there in this memory location c so extra space extra memory location has been created which is storing this result so who is storing this result c is storing this result the addition of two scalar numbers requires one extra memory location to hold the result now what about the space complexity of this algorithm the space complexity of this algorithm is s of n is equal to big o of 1 okay so 1 represents constant and what s represents here s represents space complexity whereas when we have already we have seen in the previous video when we are when we have calculated the time complexity we got the representation as t here in space complexity we need to use the representation yes so dear students a good and efficient algorithm will have less time complexity and less space complex less time complexity as well as less space complexity so by using these two we can find out the analysis of algorithms so with this let me close my today's session of video see you soon everybody take care allah peace.